Hello friends, welcome to Hop Info channel. From this video, we are going to explain the safety precautions for sandblasting operations. The number one is engineering controls. The safety precautions for sandblast engineering controls you can be controlled by the engineering way. There are several parts of this. Substitutions use at least toxic abrasives, blasting materials, and also use abrasive that can be delivered with water slurry to reduce dust. Number two is isolations and containment. Use a barrier and curtains walls to isolate the blasting operations from other workers. Number two, use a blast blast rooms or blast cabins for smaller operations. Use a restricted area for non-inclusive blasting operations. Keep co-workers away from the blasters. Number three is ventilations. Use exist ventilation systems in a containment structures to capture dust. The second one is administrative control. Do not use compressed air to clean as this will create dust in the air. Schedule blasting when the last number of the workers are at the site. Avoid blasting in a windy condition to prevent that spread of any hazardous materials. The third one is personal hygiene practice. Prohibit eating, drinking or using the tobacco product in a blasting area. Provide wash stations so workers can wash their hands and face routinely and before eating, drinking or smoking. Vacuum or remove contaminated work clothes before eating, drinking or smoking. Number four is respiratory protections. Any abrasive e-blasting respirators must cover the wear, wear's hand, knees, and shoulders to protect the wearer from rebounding abrasive. Worker must be used only respirators are provided by the NIOSH provide protections from dust produced during abrasive blasting operations. Number five is personal protective equipment. Hearing protections, eye and face protections, helmet, leathers, gloves that protect to fall former and apron, safety shoes or boots. Worker training and hazardous communications. This is another way to control the sandblasting operations. Providing training to abrasive blasters and support personnel on blasting health and safety hazards. How to use control, personal hygiene practice, safety work practice, and the use of PPE and respirators. Manufacturers are required to include appropriate health hazards information on the blasting material on the safety data sheet SDS as required under OSHA hazards communication standards. Obtain and read the manufacturer's SDS for health hazards information on the abrasive blasting materials you are getting. Here we come to the end of the video. Do not forget to subscribe and like my channel. Until another video, have a good times and bye.